channel it's betsy and mom with happily ever after etc and we are back with another mini uh, august garden tour slash progress report on the side garden yes so this is in between the front yard garden and the back garden which is through that gate um right by the driveway right by the driveway mom and i are on the driveway and we started this garden Last year, last year, yes. we bought mom this Japanese maple for Mother's Day last year, mm -hmm. and then she bought a lot of these plants on the clearance rack. Right here, they were on the seventy-five percent off clearance, yes. and I did the seventy-five percent off clearance dance. And I don't think she's added anything to this garden except for a few things back here that we'll show you this year. Yes. So it is a definitely a progress report. She just put down compost. We still have to mulch this area. And then she'll be adding more plants over time. It is finish all yeah. my bricks. She's still doing the brick path. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Yes. But the Japanese maple we wanted to show y'all, and she just got the compost down. So we're just gonna go around. She also moved um, the bird bath from up front because the big fountain she bought at the estate sale went up front. So y'all will have to come back for the garden tour up front, probably maybe next month. I don't know if we're gonna do one this month because it's, I don't know, my yard doesn't look that bad. Yeah, we'll see. You come back for the next front yard garden tour to see the fountain in its spot. But we're gonna go ahead and start up here and we will bring you all the way around the back because this is an area she's actively working on and we'll be adding more plants to either when the clearance plants hit this year or next season. Uh, it is a work in progress. I kind of know some ideas of things I want to get to. So it's just a question of when they show up and how much they are, or if other things on sale That's uh, true. bump those things out of their, their ranking positions. That, that happens sometimes because yeah. if I see a good sale, sale wins. I always will buy what's on sale. Yes. All right. All right. So we are over on the right side. This is our lovely neighbor's yard and she has a beautiful arch here what is on the arch mom i think carolina jessamine yes it smells really good in the spring but it only blooms, it only blooms once spring. a year and then uh her peggy martin rose which is on this fence will hopefully eventually cover the whole fence and and it's on i i wove it so it's on both sides yes which are her neighbor is very excited about yes so then tell them about what's around your angel fountain well yes my poor little angel she has some gara that I cut back. It's beautiful in the spring, but it is not blooming right now. No. It's still alive, but though. it's still alive, and I think it'll come back I think when so. it cools off a little bit. It's just so hot. It's very um, hot. Now, I did just move all these vincas. From up front? No, from, like, over here. I had so oh, much yeah. over here. And Vinca really self-seeds here. Yeah, but it, it just, I just moved it last week, and it looks good. It looks fine. Yeah, it's really pretty. So we'll just keep letting it fill in the front of this border really as much as it wants over the years. Mm -hmm. And then she's got three mums, which mums, are getting ready to bloom for so the they fall. Have, they, I, I pinched them all back, um, oh. cut them back in on the 4th of July, which is what you do down here in the south. You cut back on the 4th of July. We get a flush of mums in the spring, and then it'll bloom again. So we get bl mum blooms twice a year. Yes. And then her hydrangea, this is a twist and shout, and I think it's twist it's so and dead. shout it out because it, it doesn't look alive anymore. It died. I have to um, get something to get replace Get something it. to replace it. I have in front of the Japanese maple, I have these three coreopsis, and they... Unlike the twist and shout hydrangea. Crazy. Yes. And they came back from last year, and they are on... You, have you already cut them back for the season? Oh, I already cut them back. And yeah. now they're blooming and again. And they're blooming again. So and they, they like the heat. They this, started out like this big, and now they're like that big. This spot gets a lot of full sun during mm -hmm. the day. So it's a very hot there. spot, which makes sense that maybe the hydrangea didn't love it here. But we've had other hydrangeas in this area. So yeah. I have one over there. That's, that's doing really okay, little. But it's tiny. It's real tiny, but it yeah. it. it it tried to die, but it's come back. It's, it's about as big as your hand. It's not that big, but it's, you know, it's better it's, than nothing. So then from the Coreopsis, you can see the tiny little hydrangea she was talking about right here. 
and uh, hopefully it will grow and do okay. But and that one is endless summer, so it should have blooms. Yes. All summer, but it didn't. It's just too tiny right now. It's too tiny. I did have one of these little roses that Betsy I transplanted from Betsy. Yes, yeah, so we transplanted these red ones, and I got pink ones, which I, is a very small change, but I like the pink. I think it needs some iron. Yeah, that's what it, it looks, looks like. like. It needs some iron. So. And then more vinca, which you can see some of them transplanted yeah. better than others, but for the These most were part. The ones I had. And they were very, very full. So and she's just right here. spread them out. I spread them out and then all the way down. All the way down. And they're doing really well. Mm -hmm. I mean, this little guy right here is on the struggle bus, but he's not too back. bad. He's he was looking up. really bad yesterday and the day yeah. before. And, and then, then another one down there is looking kind of pitiful. So. But, um, this whole section is still very much a work in progress up until this year, this year, come over here, mom, so you can see you. Okay. That's, that's out of the frame. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I said, so know. they could see you and oh, you, okay. you left the frame completely. So, up until this year, I had this giant oak leaf hydrangea right in the middle here. You can see there's a couple like, uh. What are they called? Runners from the original yeah, plant? This one is here. I have some here. This one. That one. That one. And this is where we here. took a couple babies from my oak leaf hydrangea and transplanted them. There and mom's there. was huge. It filled in this whole area. It was this little thing right here. Yeah. I cut it off because it was just dead. It just died. The whole center died. And but we I don't know why because it was here for how long oh, ago? Seven, eight years. And it was doing fine. And then this year, it just said, you know what? I'm tired. I'm done. I'm done. So I will have a lot of baby ones that are coming. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be a huge. And so they oh, will now. eventually grow in and be big again. And it was um, like this tall. But for now, it's kind of just a big blank space. Yep. But yeah. that's what she wants here. There's no point in replacing it with yeah, something I don't, else. I don't want to take anything the plant out. will eventually fill back in. Yeah. It may not fill in exactly where the original one is, but the babies will go back where, where it was close enough. Right, exactly. Eventually. Yeah. So then she has a little, is that a quick fire? Yes, that's a quick fire hydrangea. And so they turn uh, mauve, maroon in the fall. We just planted that. I planted three around the paver patio mom and will help me build for my birthday and one of them looks great one of them looks okay one of mine looks really on the struggle bus so we'll yes. see how they do for next year but mom's looks great look the blooms okay. i don't i don't the blooms are good. struggling um but that's that's pretty common when you plant something that has yeah. blooms that the Especially blooms the don't always make it so and, and i and i really knocked into it and i lost about four or five breaks little branches on it yeah. so so as long as it's green we can deadhead it and it should come back yeah. and bloom beautifully next season yeah so. then she has a pot of eucalyptus that i started from seed this year and they're really coming along they are that. mine are doing really well too are yours about bigger than mine i would think mm, i think mine are bigger than yours uh, you planted yours before i planted mine. i did you took a long time to decide what to do with them yeah and we'll see. They are slow growing, which is odd because I thought eucalyptus was fast growing, but I think that's bamboo. maybe that's bamboo. Then she has a different rose. This is not yes. one of my knockout roses. This is a different one. It's still a knockout rose. Yes. And it is doing really good. It has good. a lot of buds on it. It has a lot. It has a tag on it. What kind of rose is it? A knockout rose. I know, but does it say what double, pink? Pink double. Okay. So I think that's what I have. If I don't have a pink double, I just have a pink. I don't know if mine's are double. But it is. It's got pretty little pink flowers. Yes. I got this on the sale too. Almost everything she planted on this half I was know. on sale. Except for that. Except for that. Yeah, and then is that a pittosporum back here? Yes. She loves pittosporum. I like it because it will get, oh, three, four feet wide by two feet tall. And it has pretty variegated leaves, and it just grows all summer. It does, and I really love it. It's like one of my favorite. Hey, Mom. You want to actually look at the camera? Favorite plants. I have some in the backyard. Hey, Mom. And they, um, 
I know it doesn't have blooms on it, but I like it because it doesn't get real big. Yes. And I have a gate over here. And so it'll just kind of grow up, up to and gate. around the gate. Yeah. And then... Last but not least... That. And this Betsy bought me. Yes. I got her this at our local nursery when they were having their clearance sale. And it's got buds on it, too. Look at that. Here. It does. Here. And it is a blue chiffon oh, rose of Sharon. Oh, yeah. It's got lots of that spittle bug stuff on it. Yeah, I got You've got to spray that with the neem oil. No, you just have to I have the neem oil, I spray this neem oil on it. But it's got buds down here. Now, I, this is the first time I've looked at it for a while. But yeah, it's got But this. it can get pretty big. I have a pink chiffon oh, one. It does. It gets really big. And it will bloom all season, which is nice. 8 to 12 tall by 4 to 6 wide. So, so it's going to fill in this corner. Yes. And be real tall. We'll and it'll just be a nice, big, blooming yeah. shrub behind her. Uh, little patio table. And then I have, my neighbor has this crepe myrtle, and oh. then I have a crepe myrtle, so. Borrowed landscape. Yep. Yeah, so. It's always nice. And then last but not least, we have what we told you, the Peggy Martin Rose. Now, I do have these. And a few Nandina. Nandina. These were here, and. Nandina, do they self-seed? Because you have them in weird places. They, they, They're bird planted. They, no, runners. Oh, runners. runners. But I have them. You can see one, two, three, them. four. They were kind of like this, and then... I think you moved some of them. No. Daniel. Oh. Daniel, just my yard man, came along and cut them all down for some reason. Yeah. I don't know why. He probably thought they were weeds. He thought they were weeds, and I was like, Daniel, what? Did you do that? He goes, well, uh, uh. I was being helpful. And he did. It was not helpful. <laughs> but the Peggy Martin she had on her arbor... And it just, for some reason, was not loving it there. So we moved it. And it's grown a lot since then. And it actually And it bloomed this year, which I moved you know, it, we were very happy with. Which was nice. Mine grew. It's almost covering my entire fence. And it's the same age as mom's. Mm -hmm. She bought these in New Orleans when she was on a trip. She bought one for her, one for me. And mine has hers gone, gone insane. gangbusters. And hers was on the struggle bus. Oh, it was just and, so, and usually it's the opposite. Right? Yes. Usually, Typically, mom has really good soil, and her plants do a lot better than mine. Even so though we're very close. I yeah, mean, we're, we're only 10 minutes apart, 10 but minutes apart. her house, almost always her plants do better than mine. So, but I, I'm excited to see how that Peggy Martin does next year. So, yep. last but not least, she has a uh, Japanese holly and a dogwood bush here. Yeah, I had an extra one and, of Japanese holly, so I put it in. She did a whole row of them in the backyard by the new dog fence. But they and do not get they're very kind big. of a they are like they're columns. They're columns, so it'll be a skinny column. It's like two one to two feet wide, but I think six to eight feet tall. Yeah. So I thought that would be kind of a nice vertical different vertical texture. Yeah. And then I bought all these shepherd hooks. Uh, yes, this is not just where she keeps her shepherd yeah, hooks. Like we went to an garden. estate sale, <laughs> and uh, if you saw that video, we did a video on it. We, we had staged everything here to show you all the haul. So she got these three shepherd's hooks, the bunny, the sunflower bird seed holder, and then the fountain that's up front. You'll have to check that video. And then I got some stuff. Oh, I got some other little shepherd, little baby shepherd. Yeah. So, and this guy, this is one of my bird houses that I bought. And she put ferns in it. It has a stand, but the stand keeps falling over, so she's trying to decide what to do with it. Well, I want to do, I want to paint the bird house and the stand white so that I can see it better in the garden. Because right now, we can't hardly see it. Yeah. And then, once I get it painted, I'm going to stake that bad boy down so that he doesn't fall over. Because every time it, the wind blows, as it's very top heavy once I put the fern on it. All right. So that is the whole little garden. And we will give you another update on it. Maybe at the end of the season or maybe next year. Yeah, she got this orb when we went to the estate sale too. Can't decide why, what it was on her fountain. She didn't pick it. It just came with the fountain.
lady that I bought it from, I guess, they had sand in it and they had all kinds of things in it for the kids to play with. Yeah. So they had these very strange All right, but we're not sure why that matters. So we're going to do something with them, like give them to some child that walks by. That is all there is to that. So we are going to go, uh, I think, probably do some dog stuff now. So let us know what you think. If you know what happened to this oak leaf hydrangea, yeah, let us know that. Typically, sure. they don't have a lifespan of like seven years and then they die out. Mm -hmm. And some things do, like the mother plant grows and then suckers grow and then the suckers replace the mother plant. But I don't think oak leaf hydrangeas are one of those types of plants. So it, it could just be a weird circumstance and the new ones will grow in and in and, and three years, you'll never have known this happened. But, but it is odd. I planted eight years ago. Just something that kind of looked like this. That's all yeah, it was. Just one branch and maybe a couple little well, two or three branches. branches. And it, it got to be huge. And I will put a picture here of the one we took here from here to my garden. And then what it looks like now. Because in, what, three years? Mine is as, as big as mom's was when we took mine. Yeah. So, so we just think in a few years, yours will. No. Mine will live forever. All right. Say goodbye, mom. Bye.